Hi guys, Under the Stars. This is a quick follow-up vid on the Easter Island video that I just did because I thought that this was important for us to take another look at. Now I can go back five full years and as you can see here, and I'll leave a link in the description box, I can go back five full years and what you will see is that all of the earthquakes in this region fall within this triangular vortex. Now the vortex, or vector, I'm sorry, falls underneath here. Anytime you have a shape, you can extrapolate that shape out and it will create a vector. Anything within that vector can be considered part of that shape. And that's what we see here. We could go on, this is three years, it can go, we can go on to page two and three and see that all of them fall within this triangular vector. Now the reason for the follow-up video that I'm doing here is to go into a little bit more detail and take a look at this mysterious shape. Now when we zoom in here, what we see is this triangle. Now, if anyone has an explanation for this, this shape, this triangular shape, please leave it in the description. We also have this triangle connected to this bizarre formation here. And it, like I said, it has hard edges. There are these extensions coming off of it. And we see this object point right back down to Easter Island. Here, there's Easter Island. So, we also see this point back to Chile which as we know Chile has many many earthquakes as well. Now I understand these places are on fault lines. I get that. Okay. I also understand that earthquakes occur on fault lines. But what we're seeing here is not fault lines that these earthquakes are appearing on. We're seeing them appear within a, a, a vector underneath the umbrella of this triangle. We see lines emanating from Easter Island, as you can see here. Like I said, someone may have covered all this, but I'm going to cover it because it grabbed my attention. We have a line, a straight line there. We have a straight line going up. We also have a line coming from that massive area underneath the ocean and pointing directly to South America, to Chile. And as I said, many many earthquakes in Chile here we have all these lines as well look there's a 90 degree angle underneath the ocean we also have looks like some other type of underwater square like structure connected to the bottom of this 90 degree angle here now Anyone have any thoughts on this? Please let me know. Please be polite. I simply block and delete anyone who is rude, uses name calling, or says we're crazy. Because I'm asking a question. I'm not saying that this is the, the end all. I'm saying we need to ask these questions. Obviously. We have a cluster of earthquakes falling under a vector. And we want answers as to why. Over the past five years they all fall within that vector. Anyway, you guys, take care and be safe.